What is up, guys? My name is Kbots, and today we are playing Clone Armies, and today is another day of All About the Clone series. I haven't done this in about a few videos. Last video was Jeep, so that means we are doing our second big clone, our third big clone, and that is Brew. Let's go. After Brew, we, we begin our uh, epic series, and after that, we go to the Legendary, also known as aka Secret uh, Series. But uh, without further ado, Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. I noticed that I've gotten a huge decrease in the amount of subscribers, but that does not mean K-Boss is giving up just yet. So, uh, yeah, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Thank you, enjoy. Alright, alright, alright. So, before we begin, that is a cool background you have, Brew. Your card is amazing. You have a level 7, mine is a 65 out of 200. I have a level 7, Brew. He works kind of cool. He's got that hair, he's got that mask to cover him from that machine gun smoke and that fire and all that crap out there. Um, be yeah. It, his name is Brute. Yeah, he's beautiful. Um, uh, I didn't see anything. His price is 1,400, 1,400 blue coins. That's, uh, in the battlefield, or in the battlefield, yeah. Whenever you get coins to from killing clones. Or killing the machines in multiplayer. Yes, that's a real thing now. His health is 3,218. That's, pr that's a pretty fair health for a big dude with a machine gun. And his damage is 435, so, yeah, Th that does a lot of damage, and that's per shot, too, I think, it should be. Now, he's he's our final rare, um, I know you guys will have to say goodbye, why did I say that, um, you, you will have to say goodbye to Brute soon, also known as our final rare clone, and we will be beginning with Rookie on the next episode, but... Uh, without further ado, yeah, let's let's get him. To upgrade him, it's 5,000 DNA points, and I only have 2,585, but considering that, I don't even almost have that much. So, Brute, his description, he's a brutal, he's brutal and mutated. We wouldn't recommend you to mess with this minigun, minigun-wielding fella. However, his biggest strength is also his largest weakness. His weapon can get overheated pr pretty quickly. And I'm going to show you guys that after I show you the skins. So, as you guys remember, I bought the Warman skin pack a pretty long time ago. I kind of told you guys a little bit about it, but I kind of didn't want you guys to think that I was a pay to win again. Because I know I'd get a lot of comments like that. But that doesn't mean I'm a, uh, I'm really scared to get, comment get hate comments like that. Because I honestly don't give a... D give two craps about what you guys say about me. I don't care. The feedback, feedback is cool. If you say stuff like I hate K Boss, then I'm perfectly fine with that. Cause, I mean, or if you say stuff like, crap. Okay, <laughs> okay, Oni, you kind of texted me at the wrong time, but hey. Um. Anyways, before yeah, sorry, sorry, I keep getting irrelevant, but. His basic skin, as you guys can see, he's, he's got a dotted mask. That looks pretty cool. Um, he's got hairs on him. He's got a cab that makes him look sharp. That, that's, that's really awesome. He's got those big eyes. He's mutated, as you guys can see in that description. Right there, he's brutal and mutated. So That's why they call him Brute, because he's, like, brutal, you know? Bad joke, but they, they Jabba and this... And, Scanner created it, but he's barefoot, and that is his minigun, which I'll be showing, and I kind of like the emo how he's kind of breathing out, he's kind of having trouble holding it in his arms. Now, the Warman skin, he's got a toxic thing on him to show that he's brutal and brave, and no crap can stop him. He's got the same exact mask on, he's got that huge Warman helmet on, that makes him look pretty strong, yet he has the exact same health. Skins don't change crap. Okay, and his minigun looks the same, and he's barefoot, except it doesn't have the rugged pants like Hulk does. But I'll be getting that to that in a second. And he's got a huge backpack with minigun turrets in the back. Uh, I meant ammo. Minigun ammo. Pretend K-Boss never said that, because I didn't. Now, the Colonel skin! He's got that cap on. It, he's got, like, huge minigun things right there, and he's got a wooden handle to it. I don't understand what's up with the Colonel having wood stuff on it. Nith, you ask me. Or, you tell me, alright? And he's not barefoot this time, he's actually wearing boots, or those rectangle boots that look extremely ugly. And he's even got a stand for his minigun in case he wants to lay down, which will never happen in clone armies. He's got a kind of a mask that looks like he just came from a Halloween party, and he kind of looks old because of those wrinkles under his eyes. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... Um, and he, and he, he, he looks pretty like, he looks like he's... I don't even know what I'm saying right now. He, he shaved his head... 
And that's really about it for clone armies. Or, I mean, for colonel skin. Okay, boss. You, you chose, like, 12, 18 a.m. To, to film this video. That's, that's, like, a horrible idea. So, yeah. He's got that cool green cap on and that star to represent that he is the colonel. For the barbarian skin, as you guys can see. But that looks even better because he created a freaking mohawk. Or, I don't know what that hairstyle is. Somebody tell me in the comments below. He, he's got a dragon emblem. Literally tattooed on him, and he's got those whirls. He's got them whirls. Uh, and he's got and he's got what looks like a stone minigun that actually looks pretty cool. Good job, Nisk. And he's even got those things for the barbarian skin that like that um, claw looking thing. I don't know what I'm saying. And he's even got a stone belt on. So back then, in prehistoric times, they had stone stuff. And for his clothing, that's so cool. He's got a uh, wool um, deer skin. That 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 looks really cool, bro. Like, awesome job from Nip. That That's just perfect. Rugged pants. And finally, for the toxic skin, the epic skin. The Christmas skins ran out. That's pretty sad. Uh, He's got, like, a um, bandana to show that he's pretty rugged. He's got the exact same mask on. Uh, He's got a mohawk-style haircut. That looks really cool. Kind of like how Rookie does. Like, if you can see it. Like, it's awesome. And he, he's basically green. He's basically like the Hulk. Because, I mean, he's got those uh, ripped pants. Ripped shorts. Look at those abs, bro. Those abs look be looking fine, though. He's got a regular minigun. I think it looks the exact same as the woman in the basic skin. But, yeah. Other than that, there's really not much else. Let's try him out in the showroom. Listen to that. He's literally, like, shouting, Oh, room. This is how much damage he does to a freaking level 5 giant, which could be useful in multiplayer. 18, I think he shoots either 19 or 20 shots. I couldn't really count that well. That is how much damage he does against... Oh my gosh. And he jumps really high too. Like whenever the jump thing reloads, kind of like how the cadet does, he jumps extremely high. Which could be really useful. Like, just a few shots could kill a freaking... Oh, gosh. And, by the way, also another thing. Whenever, um... Whenever the brute jumps, if you ever have, like, trouble... You can actually jump on top of them. And if the clone... And if the other clones do not jump... Then that basically just means that they suck. And they... They're, they're not good. So, the only way that they can evade your jump is either moving out of the way... Or jumping as soon as you hit the ground. Because then that would technically count that they didn't hit you dude literally one shot kills a level one private from a brew sticking the minigun inside of it one shot two shots to kill any private except for a level one or, or a level two other than that i have no words really that the, he's just an amazing clone to use but be be aware that since uh his slow uh, reboots, and he has such a huge body. That that does mean that he can fit a private inside of it. That's what she said. Um, and and that also includes the commando and the rookie and all those tiny clones that can actually get inside of the brute and kill him. That's what she said. Now let's test out how much damage he does against, or how much damage he takes. Let's say that against the sentry. So it could be kind of annoying, like especially when you're shooting at a clone and engine. Like, uh, let's just say, like, a player sets one down. I don't know what level the sentry turret is, but it is doing a pretty good uh, amount of damage. But it's really not that bad, I gotta say. So, yeah, that, that, that's basically all there is to brood, except let's test them out in the, in the cyborg testing area. Another thing you guys probably didn't notice was that, uh, whenever brute walks, he stomps. And I mean, he stomps like heck. Like, he's crazy. Alright, let, let me show you guys in a sec. Let's walk over to that area. Oh, and another bug is that he moonwalks when he walks. Yeah, th that can happen sometimes when you first spawn him as your clone. It, it, it gets, it's kind of funny at first, but after that it gets annoying. Just to look at him, it just feels cursed. Yeah, and as you guys can see, the ground shakes every time he walks. That just looks amazingly cool. So, like, whenever you're trying to evade from a cyborg, never mess with a cyborg when it comes to that. Because, like, they can just bury themselves inside you and kill you within seconds. 
Guys, there's really not much else to brute, so if you guys love this video, make sure you guys make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys for so much for watching, and please get that subscriber count up. Uh, remember, 510 subscribers for another Brawl Stars video. Um, and yeah, there's really not much else. 600 subs for my next playlist reveal, my music playlist reveal, so... Yeah, if you guys want that, uh, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for all you do. Bye-bye.